Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And over the years, I've had several people ask me about the nudge distance and what I'm using to move it. And I've made several videos on this, but I, somebody just asked me again last night, so I thought I'd clarify it. I brought on an on, on screen keyboard. I've got my nudge distance, which is right here, set at five inches. I've got a five inch square. I'm going to use these keys on your keyboard right here. You want to move that to the left, you move it to the right. Or to the right, you hit the right arrow key. You want to move it up. It's going to move those five inches precisely every time. I don't care how far you move it out of the picture and change this. You could always, with your arrow keys, move it right back to the same spot. Now, where this would be helpful is if you... Let's hit P on the keyboard and put it at the center of the page. Let's draw an ellipse or a circle holding down the control button and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now, this doesn't really matter what your nudge distance is, but if you want to work on something um, and you want to move that circle out of the way for just a second, just use your left or right arrow key, get out of the way, and then you could do anything you want to to this drawing or object and then you can move it right back when you're finished so these are your arrow keys they're normally right below the shift and now this keyboard does not have the number keys but these are your arrow keys which your numbers four eight six and two have have arrow keys on them but these are your arrow keys all the time anyway i hope that clarifies a little bit and thank you for watching